Right, there's a complex number, z. The real part is x, the imaginary part is y. Now I can redraw that on an argon diagram. There's my imaginary axis, there's my real axis. I can work out the real part, r cos theta, and the imaginary part, r sine theta. I can rewrite that here. Uh, Euler's theorem tells us that this is equivalent to that. Therefore, I can now write e to the i theta equals cos theta plus i sine theta. Next, I can say if theta equals pi, I can substitute pi here, here, and here, and I work out each part. So e to the pi i, the cos of pi is minus 1, the sine of pi is 0, so I end up with e to the pi i equals minus 1. I can rearrange that equation a little bit. I get e to the pi i plus 1 equals 0. And this beautiful little equation has all the interesting numbers in maths. It's got e, it's got i, it's got pi, it's got 1, and it's got 0. All in one eloquent, beautiful little expression there.